we can go back to Blackpool now and ask Johnny Saunders, is it still windy? Chris, it's incredibly windy. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the North Pier Thank in you. Blackpool. I'm exactly where Foxy was a few moments ago. We're joined by a very special guest. More from him in just a moment. First of all, the, the rest of the day's sports news quickly. England's cricketers are chasing 261 to win the first one-day international against Australia at the Oval a short time ago. They were 39 for one in the eighth over in reply. Elsewhere, Sir Alex Ferguson has backed UEFA's decision to ban Arsenal striker Eduardo for two Champions League matches uh, for diving. And later on, Andy Murray plays Chile in Paul Capteville in the second round of the US Open Tennis. So here I am on Blackpool Pier, and who do I bump into but none other than one of Britain's favourite sportsmen, Mr Ricky Hatton. Good afternoon, Ricky. Good afternoon, good afternoon. How are you? Uh, fantastic. It's a little bit cold. This is supposed to be the Las Vegas of the of the north, and uh, the temperature's a little different. But at least the fish and chips are better, I suppose. So what are you doing up here? A waxwork involved? Yeah, Louis Tussauds, the wax works. The wax works. They've, uh, they've brought a waxwork out of me, um, and I'm absolutely delighted. I mean, uh, Blackpool's a place that is very, very close to my heart. I've been coming here since I've been, I was a little boy. And uh, to have a waxwork next to some of my heroes is absolutely fantastic. And I'm helping put the, uh, the illuminations on tonight, so, yeah, it's great. You've had quite a week because you met Muhammad Ali, didn't you, last week? Yeah, it's, it's, but, I mean, to, to have a waxworks made is one thing, but, I mean, last week was probably one of the greatest moments in my me, in me boxing life, I think. So I've been very fortunate to meet so many great world boxing champions, but until last week, you know, the greatest of all time, and so far eluded me. And he actually come to my gym in, in Hyde. It was absolutely, it's a day that'll stay with me to the day of day. Now, what about you? You know, I, I know you're asked this all the time. What, what, what's, what's your future got in store for you at the moment? Are we going to see you back in the ring? Well, I'm promoting at the minute and um, very proud to say my brother, Matthew's got um, a world title shot in November um, against the South African Love More Do for the IBO World World to Eight title. And I'm, I'm promoting now and I'm also doing my stand up and theatres up and down the, the, the country. So I am very busy, but as far as my actual boxing goes, I'm. Uh, I've had a long career, I've had a lot of hard fights. My, my last fight was obviously heartbreaking. I'm just sitting back and having a rest. And you know, to, to do boxing, you've got to have the bit between your teeth, you've got to have the hunger. At the minute, I don't have that. But after a good rest, maybe my feet might start itching again and I might give it another go. You know? But it would have to take a pretty special offer to get you back in the ring, you reckon? Well, yeah, you need, <clears throat> you need um, you know, a challenge, really, you know, someone to psych you up and, uh, you know, to go through all the running and the training and, and everything you've got to go through, you know, to prepare for a fight, you know, you've got to have the bit between your teeth, you've got to have the hunger, and at the minute I don't really have that, so I think I'm just going to sit back and have a rest, you know, in, in, enjoy myself for a little bit, and then uh, I'm sure like most po boxers in, in, in recent years, once you get start getting itchy feet, you know, they, they say, let's give it one more go, and I'm sure that might happen. Quick word about your football club, Manchester City. Must be great supporting them at the moment. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, Manchester City, we've, we've not had um, too much to cheer about in the last 30 years. And we've not had anything great to, uh, you know, to, to watch as far as football goes. So uh, now we've got some world-class players coming to the, to the club now. And it's a good start to the season, you know. So uh, we're all very optimistic that... Uh, and if it's not this season, certainly in the, in the forthcoming seasons, we might be bringing a bit of silverware back to Eastlands. It's just started to pour with rain <laughs> here on the pier. Luckily, Ricky and I are undercover. Um, just finally, night out in Blackpool for you tonight? Uh, well, you know me, I always try and squeeze a night in, you know, if, <laughs> if, if possible. But uh, I've had a great day so far, you know. I've, I've you know, but my waxworks come out, you know, I'm helping switch the, the lights on and... Uh, Obviously, when that's done, I might um, have a pint of Guinness or two. All right, Ricky, thanks ever so much for, for joining us. That's Ricky Hatton, and Chris live here on the North Pier in Blackpool. And in an hour's time, I'm talking climbing in the locker. Good lad, Johnny Saunders. Thanks so much for being